Our world is full of life. From the tiniest of bacteria to the largest whale, we share our planet with millions of species. However, scientists now have evidence that we are losing these species at an alarming rate, and humans may be on their way to causing another mass extinction in our planet's history. So what's being done? Conservation biologists have long worked to gather data by monitoring the health of both populations and individuals. But a relatively new player has entered the game of conservation biology, and its name is deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA. At the University of Montana, scientists like Dr. Gordon Lucart are working to incorporate molecular data into analyzing at-risk wildlife populations. Conservation genetics is the use of genetic tools to solve problems in conservation. There are a wide range of questions that genetics can answer. One of the simplest is, how much does genetic variation matter to an individual's performance? The possibilities for projects are endless. But the ones of most interest to the Lucart Lab have to do with protecting species native to Montana and the Pacific Northwest. Recently we have a lot of research on cutthroat trout, which are native, and rainbow trout, which are introduced invasive species. Hybridization is problematic because if you bring in genes from another species and they hybridize, usually the fitness of the individuals is reduced compared to the pure native individuals. And that's a problem because then we'll have fewer fish. It's very difficult to tell if an individual has genes from another species. So if the West Slope cutthroat trout has genes from the rainbow trout, you often could not tell and you would get the answer wrong. With simple genetic tests, you can identify if an individual has 1% of its genome from the non-native rainbow trout. In order to study the effects of hybridization, hybrid fish have to be identified. That's where the genetics comes in. Take these two fish. Their differences on the outside are no more than you'd expect between any two individuals from the same species. However, the DNA tells a different story. Deep inside of their genomes, there are tiny differences in their sequences. Only genetics can reveal that the fish on the bottom is actually a hybrid with another species. Montana has often led the nation in using genetics for trout management. They want to know the answer because they'll use the information to adapt their management strategies based on what the science says. Without genetic variation, there will not be adaptation. But one of the most urgent issues for society today is conserving biodiversity, understanding what we're losing before it's gone. We are expected to lose 20 or 30 percent of all named species on the planet in the next few decades. So there's, in a way you could argue there's no more important discipline today than conservation genetics. As a student wanting to do fun and exciting work and handle animals, but also make a meaningful contribution to society, help save humanity from this massive extinction crisis, a real rewarding and promising area is applying genomics. It's one of the most exciting areas in all of science. The Lucart Lab is part of the world-class Flathead Lake Biological Station and also the top-ranked wildlife biology program at the University of Montana. The Wildlife and Ecology faculty at UM is ranked first in North America when considering the number of high-quality publications per member per year. The caliber of research and faculty, as well as being located near Glacier and Yellowstone National Parks, makes the University of Montana a great place to study both conservation biology and genetics. <laughs>